Good morning, everybody. This is Kim Danke. It is Friday, May 7th. We are on the 129th day of our 366th day game of life. And y'all remember the reason I'm saying 366 is because February uh, was a leap year month this year. I hope y'all are doing great. Today is Friday, and I would absolutely love to hear from you on two things. One, how did you do this week? And where are you in the month? Okay, so we're we're really a week in. So just tell me how you've done since the beginning of the of the month. Did you are you having perfect days? Are you having holidays? Do you need to work on what you're doing? Uh, Y'all, let me know how your month is going. I started off the month with holidays, but then I have done Travis's Tiger Eye Challenge, and I am half a pound from my 50 pound weight loss badge again, which by the way, my 50 pound weight loss badge is tough to keep because I didn't even know I had 50 pounds to lose and the Lord gave it to me anyway. Um, so, so it's right down there. It's right down there. So I'm half a pound from Matt this morning. So I'm going to have a perfect day today because I'm going to Alabama tomorrow and Sunday and I am going to use my holidays over the weekend. Now, I'll still make good choices when I can, um, but I'm going to have some french fries, I'm sure. Uh, Deanda, good morning, and Bob, good morning, good morning, Colleen and Anilla, good morning, y'all. Say good morning. Look. Say good morning. Isn't she cute? She's so much cuter to me when she has a haircut. <laughs> and my hair, oh my goodness, it's getting so long that I really don't have anything to do with it. And y'all know my life hack for drying my hair. I go up to Planet Fitness and dry my hair, and it does a really pretty blowout dry job like I've gone to the stylist. And you know what? They're not open, and they're not opening. I'm like, I need y'all to open. But I have a haircut appointment on Monday. Monday. Oh, good morning. Oh, wow, Deanda, that is awesome. I know you feel so good. You feel so good. And that is great. I love that. Because, you know, once you have so many uh, EFB days in a row, you really aren't even thinking about being hungry at all. So that's, that's really good. Uh, Adrian, good morning. I hope y'all are doing well. Well, um, I love that sunshine, Adrian. We've had some beautiful weather here in Georgia. Today looks a little overcast right now, but we've had some beautiful weather here in Georgia, and I'm so thankful for it. I was telling the Lord, thank you this morning that... Um, the weather has been so beautiful and that I know just like a holiday, a rainy day is coming. But you know what? Those rainy days that the Lord gives us helps us with the things that we need for this earth. And so we have to be appreciative of those as well. But boy, I'm sure celebrating and enjoying these these gorgeous sunny days that uh, just they give you so much good vitamin D and all those different things. I know you want them. Okay. All right. All right. She wanted in my lap when I was starting the video, but now she wants to say goodbye. Um, so give me some thumbs up if y'all live near Kennesaw, if you live near Kennesaw. Hey, Michelle. All right, I saw one thumbs up, lives near Kennesaw. Okay, I got another thumbs up, lives near Kennesaw. Okay, so if you live near Kennesaw, and you join Shibboleth, you join Shibboleth while this pandemic thing has been going on. Um, so, I will just say March 1st. If you join Shibboleth from March 1st until now, I'm having a class for you, specifically for you, tomorrow morning at the store at 1030. Okay? But you have to register ahead of time. And you register on the Shibboleth website. Go to your dashboard then go to events, and then you will be able to click on see more and see all the events that are coming up. It'll say new member class. So if you have joined March 1st to now, I would like for you to come. There's only eight spots, only eight spots. So if you do want to go to that class, make sure you go ahead and register. Registration is required, and registration ends one hour before class, okay? So if you think you can go to class tomorrow morning, not if you think, if you know you're coming, because if you think you're going to come and then you don't come, you've taken up a spot that somebody um, could use. So make sure that if, if like if you register this morning and then something comes up tonight, go in there and unregister yourself, okay? So I'll know, all right? Um, 
Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day weekend to everybody. Thank you, Michelle, for reminding me of that. <laughs> Deanda, go ahead. Yes. Yes. Go ahead, Deanda. That would be awesome. I would love to see you. Yeah, go ahead and register for that. That would be awesome. Um, yeah, so if you started your second chance journey during this pandemic, you go ahead and register too. Hey, Karen. Hey, Karen. Well, y'all are doing awesome. Okay, so I know that I um, have been asking y'all to share. Hey, good morning, Marianne. Happy Mother's Day weekend to you too. I've been asking y'all to share something from the um, Shibboleth website. And I don't want to be annoying and ask it every single day, but I would love for y'all to share something every day, whether it's a quote, a testimony, or something. Just get into that website and share something that means something to you so that it'll also mean something to your friends. Well, I have had a few people share this week, and they have uh, they have told me they shared. They tagged me. I saw it on their Facebook page, all that kind of good stuff. And so I've got my little can here, my little Ackworth Business Association cup. And I've got everybody's names on tickets. I love to do a drawing. So everybody's names are on here. And I'm bouncing them around. And I'm going to do a drawing real quick. Uh, Rhonda, I know Rhonda's not on here right now. But Rhonda, when you watch this later today, uh, let me know if you got the thing I sent you last week. Okay? I sent Rhonda the little prize that she won, which is uh, a notebook uh, that says, If not now, then when? Because that's perfect for us and not delaying our progress. And so I sent that to her. But we also have these little Shibboleth cards now that you can pass out to friends. And on the back of the card, you would just write your 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 username. And that way, if they want to sign up, they just go to that. And so I sent her a few of those as well. I can't mail those out to everybody. But since I was already mailing her something, I did. But if you want a few of those, come by the Kennesaw store tomorrow and I can give them to you. I can give them to you. Good morning, Cheryl. Good morning. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do this drawing, even though I know a lot of these people who are in this drawing are not actually on the live right now. But I've got the winning ticket right here. And the winning ticket is Sherry Ditto. Sherry Ditto. And she wasn't the only one in there either, okay? I also had in there Deb Hughes, thank you for sharing, Deb. And then I had Michelle, thank you for sharing. I had Julie Marandino for sharing. I had Pat Johnson for sharing. And I had Tracy Woodall for sharing. So I had all those tickets in there, but I drew out Miss Sherry Ditto's ticket. So we're going to give her that little notebook and make sure she has some of those cards to share. And then if you want to get some of those cards yourself, come by the Shibboleth store tomorrow and we will give you a little handful, okay? And then if you need more, we'll give you a little handful. There's no reason for them to be in people's purses and not being used, so we do a handful at a time. Good morning, Kelly and Nicole and Lanita and Diane. Thank you, Diane. You too. Yes, congrats, Miss Ditto. Hey, Billy and Brenda. I um, hope y'all are doing great. Well, today's devotion is called, um, well, y'all uh, y'all tell me how you're doing, too. Tell me how you're doing since the 1st of May, okay? I want to hear about that. I know Deanne is on her ninth perfect day in a row, which is amazing. So I want y'all to um, uh, do that. Y'all, somebody, do me a favor. If you're friends with Samantha Phillips, please tag her real quick in this so she'll find it. Uh, good morning. So today's devotion is, is about acceptance. And the verse is Proverbs 19.8. If y'all will type in that verse for me, Proverbs 19.8. Hey, Pam, how are you? Um, so today's verse, 19.8, is to get wisdom is to love one's self. To keep understanding is to prosper. To get wisdom is to love, some, love one's self. <coughs> Excuse me. To, help under, to keep understanding is to prosper. Wow, that is amazing. That's really, really amazing. I'm going to read this devotion, and I'm going to come back to my thoughts on that. If you can accept yourself, you will probably be more readily able to accept the idiosyncrasies of others. If you are patient with yourself, you will almost certainly be more tolerant towards your loved ones. If you have learned to forgive yourself, you're likely to find you can more easily forgive someone else. 
Self-respect increases as you stay committed to gaining a heart of wisdom. This attitude splashes onto your other relationships and acceptance gradually becomes a way of life. <coughs> excuse me, y'all. Excuse me. Uh, good morning, Jason. Y'all, Jason had a great orientation last night for his new challenge. Um, his challenges are always going well. People stick with them and they're doing great. So uh, y'all join Jason's challenges. You're going to have so much success and he's so awesome. Give you some preaching, some loving on, some good uh, meal plans. I love it. So thank you, Jason, for doing that. Thank y'all for typing in the Bible verse today. That is awesome. What'd y'all think about that? Um, give me some hearts if you liked what I just read about acceptance. Sometimes we have a hard time accepting our own selves. And so we have that uh, hard time. And when we have a hard time accepting ourselves, we, also, we often have a hard time accepting others in the way that they are. Now, uh, just because the world is all about this world acceptance and tolerance, it, it still does not mean that we have to go against biblical beliefs but what it does mean is that we, we have to be nice. We have to be nice. You know, I, I, I don't know if y'all heard this me say this before, but my daddy always said, um, so I would come home and I would say, well, I don't like so-and-so. And, you know, we, we, it's just the way that kids are. You know, I don't like so-and-so. And he would say, well, you don't have to be their best friend. You just have to be nice. <laughs> so, you know, Sometimes we just have to be nice to people, but when it comes to acceptance and true acceptance, we really do have to accept ourselves. And you know, the Lord accepts us the way that we are. He does expect us to do some self-evaluation uh, and know whether or not we are headed in the right direction, know if we are um, living our life for Him and just know that. So we do have to do some self-evaluation so that we can serve others better. Um, now, I'm going to go back to this little verse right here. It says, to get wisdom is to love oneself. Do you know that a lot of us make bad choices because we don't love ourselves? So in getting wisdom, doesn't it sound like you'll be really smart if you get some wisdom? You'd be really smart, right, if you get wisdom? Well, therefore, it's very smart to love yourself. Okay, go ahead, love yourself, make good decisions for yourself. See, the people that you love in your household and in your world, maybe at work or at school, whatever you do, those people, do you try to make good decisions for them? Do you try to help them make good decisions? You do, because you love them. But then we'll go and not make a good decision for ourselves. So we've got to learn to love ourselves so that we are also making good decisions for ourselves. And then we can just even do a better job for those people um, and this also means don't put yourself last, okay? Don't put yourself last. You have to do well for yourself so that you can do well for others. And then the second part of this verse said, to keep understanding is to prosper. Okay, you know what Shibboleth is? It's an education. It's an education. We have to learn the education, then start to apply the, uh, the education. And this says, to keep understanding is to prosper. Okay, so if we keep doing this education, we learn it, we understand it, we figure it out, we keep this uh, understanding is to prosper. Well, we can't help but prosper if we're following the, the plan of Shibboleth. You know, the plan of Shibboleth is very, very, very well-rounded. So Travis didn't say, just drink your water, but you can do whatever else you want and uh, and, and lose weight. No, because he knows that doesn't work. Uh, you know, he says, journal. Well, you can't just journal everything that you want to eat and, and then lose weight. No, it doesn't work by itself. Okay, combinations. Combinations are the number one way to weight reduction, but they don't just work by themselves because even if you just overeat combinations, you know, we don't have the portion control portion part of the shield. And then you've got the portion control. Obviously, people know over the years that they've always said, well, I need to lose weight, let me eat less. Okay, well, we all know that that's, that works, but that's the second most important part of weight reduction. So you can't just do that part, but not have your combinations right. Because so many people have reduced what they're eating before, but didn't lose weight. 
Okay, that's because that's not the number one way to weight reduction. And then timing, even though we don't require that timing is your number, it is a uh, part of the perfect day, it is so ultra important. That's why we talk about, you know, having three meals a day, not grazing. Um, and it, intermittent fasting is a big thing. I truly believe that helps me so much when it comes to maintenance. And I, I believe it'll help y'all in, um, in weight loss as well. So I just let's go back to that. And it says to get wisdom is to love oneself. So I hope that you love yourself enough to humble yourself and realize that you don't know everything. You don't know everything about nutrition. You know, you may have been one like me that studied up on lots and lots of stuff. But Travis says you have to humble yourself. You have to forget everything you thought you knew about nutrition and you've got to learn this, okay? So to get wisdom is to be smart enough to love yourself in a way that makes you propel yourself to learn how to do this uh, this this program. And then to keep understanding is to prosper. You keep doing it. You keep doing it and you will prosper. Now, I don't know if y'all saw my post last night. Y'all give me some hearts if you saw my post last night that said the little things in a row, they were numbered. And while y'all are giving me hearts, if you saw that, I am going to read Cheryl. I completed the Beverly Shaking Up Ch London Wow Challenge and on the Tigers I Challenge 14 perfect days in a row. Way to go, Cheryl. Way to go. That is awesome. Yes, Mary. And it's so important to love yourself and others, but so many people have a hard time doing that. And if I can just encourage that you today, right now, where you are today, even if you have to lay your phone down for just a second, I want you to do this. I want you to do this, okay? Just hug yourself. Give yourself a big hug. Grab your hand on this back side of your shoulder. Grab your hand on this back side of your shoulder and kind of pull in, okay? You, you will get the feeling that somebody else is putting their hands on you. And you know what? The Lord is. The Lord is giving you a great big hug right now by you doing this action. You are going to love yourself. Love yourself. Do it today. And then keep understanding so that you can prosper in this lifestyle. Uh, good morning, Shannon. Happy anniversary to you and your husband. Good morning, my friend Terry. Hey, and Diane's showing us some love. So, I think y'all saw my post, but if you didn't see my post, I screenshotted it because after I went back and read it and I went, ooh, I'm going to need that again in the future. Okay, so my post was this. Just want y'all to know, one, I like to eat. Two, I want to eat. Three, I want to eat right now. Four, I live a lifestyle called Shibboleth. Five, I've already eaten everything that I can and still call it a perfect day. Six, I'm choosing there's the key word. I'm choosing not to eat until morning. Do I want to sit there and put my feet up, recline with a bag of chips, ice cream, and whatever else I want? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> um, I live this lifestyle called Shibboleth. I filter my decisions through the Shibboleth Shield. Mm -hmm. I am deciding, and that's the key word, I am deciding to not eat until morning. And I still haven't eaten because I got ready and then came here <laughs> to talk to y'all. And my stomach is growling a little bit, and I'll go in there and I'll enjoy a delicious Shibboleth-approved breakfast. Um, but I know, I, I wanted to share that last night, because I know that we all feel like that at times. I know we do. But it is the decision, it is the choice that you are making to live this lifestyle. So to go along with today's uh, topic, acceptance, you're accepting you're accepting that you're living the Shibboleth lifestyle. Accept it and fully do it, okay? There's no reason not to fully be all in with the Shibboleth lifestyle. So um, today's Friday, and I will uh, do the Shibby Show on Monday. So y'all have a great and happy, wonderful Mother's Day weekend. But if you are a new member or a truly second chance starter, again, since March 1st, I would like for you to come to class tomorrow morning in the Cartersville Care Center, and we can have eight people register. Yeah, eight. Eight people register, and I'll keep one chair in between each person, okay, just to be, I don't want anybody, you know, freak out, but I also want us to start coming back out again, okay? So, um, that'll put one chair in between each person. And, but you need to register. Registration is a must, okay? You gotta register. Go to the Shibboleth page, dashboard, events, see more, and then, or you could just put in myshiboleth.com slash events. I think that'll pull it up too. So get there, but click the red button that says register, or look for the post. Look for the post that is in the 
Kennesaw Shibboleth group. If you are near Kennesaw or plan on ever coming to the Kennesaw store, feel free to ask to be a part of the Kennesaw Shibboleth uh, public group. Um, so the, the invitation is in there. If you click on that, it'll take you right to the registration. And I have asked Sasha to send out an email today so you can register in there. But there's once the eight registrations are gone, they're gone. But if you aren't going to come, please go in there and cancel registration so it'll give a spot to somebody else, okay? Hey, hey, Dawn. Hey there, Samantha. Samantha and I were uh, doing similar things last night. I love it. Well, she did it all day yesterday. Um, and yes, happy Mother's Day to everybody. Happy Mother's Day. Dawn, how's your mom doing? Awesome, Cheryl, thank you. I, you know what, and Samantha sent me such a sweet message yesterday, uh, or tagged me in such a sweet message that just made me know that I am right where the Lord wants me each morning, and so I thank you for that, Cheryl. Thank y'all for that confirmation. I really, really appreciate it. Um, yes, thank you. Thank you. And y'all, when I go into the group and I change the picture to whatever Samantha has, has artfully done in wording in her artwork. I don't, what's that called, Samantha? Um, like the artwork, what's it called? All of a sudden my brain is not thinking of it. But when I change that, y'all, that's Samantha's artwork. Don, I hope your mama's doing well. I hope your mama and everybody else over there is doing well, okay? I'm praying for her throughout the day as I think about them. And I went over and flew my drone at an assisted living center yesterday, and I thought about your mom. Oh, thank you. Look at these earrings. Look at this. Okay, they are a hematite, which is black. But on the front side, they've got these little crystals. But look, they did the crystals on the inside so that when you're looking at them, you see the crystals here and here. But they didn't go on the back. It's like, why waste them on the back? Because they can't be seen. Isn't that cool? So now you get them right there. So thank you. Thank you, Samantha. Lettering. Okay, so it's called lettering. Her art lettering. Um, when I change the image on YouTube and in the Shibboleth website, y'all, that is from Samantha. And Or faux calligraphy. Okay. And she did one for Travis that said, lock it in and rip, 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 rip off the knob. So, and he got that yesterday. He got that yesterday. So, uh, my father-in-law, hopefully, he's going home today. Um, I... He was feeling better. I didn't get an update yesterday, um, but he was feeling better on Wednesday. And so hopefully he will go home. Hopefully he'll go home today. So we'll see. Thank you, Michelle, for asking. Thank you. All right. Well, Daisy's sitting in the window looking out the back. Um, and I'm going to hop off of here, but I do hope to see some registrations for the Kennesaw class. And the only reason I put that out for new people or second chance, as Deanda requested, and that's totally fine. I love that you requested that. Thank you. Is because I want to show you guys some love and just know that we do have in-person classes near Kennesaw if you want to. And um, I'm looking forward to it. Awesome. Y'all have a great day and make it a perfect one.